Okay, this is paper 42 of yoga number 2021. Question is, a trolley on the smooth surface is attached by the spring to fixed block as shown. Uh, the trolley oscillates horizontally above its equilibrium position with the amplitude of 12 centimeter. And the figure shows the variation with the acceleration A of the trolley with displacement X from the equilibrium position. Friction between the trolley and the surface is assumed to be negligible. This is acceleration against displacement graph. So describe the feature features of the line that demonstrate that acceleration and uh, that the motion of the trolley is simple. Look for the simple harmonic motion. Acceleration must be directly proportional to X, but opposite in direction. So the number one, straight line, passing through the region shows a directly proportion to x. And number two, negative gradient of line indicates that acceleration and displacement are opposite in direction. So these are the two features. Now the next is determine the period T of the oscillation of the trolley. So do remember when acceleration against displacement graph given, then the gradient is always omega square because acceleration is equal to minus X omega square. So omega square is equal to A divided by X with minus. So Y axis over X axis, the gradient. So we can write it, gradient is equal to two pi over t whole square, mean gradient under root is equal to two pi over t, and t is equal to two pi over gradient under root. And the time period is equal to two pi divided by gradient under root. Now look at the graph for the gradient. So this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. So the y-axis is 0 0.8 and the x-axis is 12, so 0 0.12. So this is the gradient of the graph. Change in y-axis divided by change in the x-axis. And this value here, so, 2 times 3.14 divided by under root of 0 0.8 divided by 0 0.12. And after calculation, you will get the answer, which is 0 0.43. You can also write 0. Uh, sorry, 2.43, or we can write also 2.4. So, this is the time period. Next, on the line, of the graph of figure 4.2 labeled with the letter P, one point where the kinetic energy of the trolley is maximum. Kinetic energy of the trolley is zero, sorry, not maximum, zero. So zero kinetic energy will be at the maximum displacement at the extreme position. So in the graph, this is the maximum displacement. This is the maximum displacement. So one of the point is labeled P maximum displacement, this one. You can also label this point here, but one point is required. So at 12 centimeter, you have to put a P point on the line to show that the kinetic energy is zero. And the next part is on the line of the graph, labeled with the letter Q, an approximately position of one point where the kinetic energy of the trolley is equal to, okay, we have done in the theory, that when kinetic energy exactly equal to the potential energy and displacement is equal to amplitude divided by under root two, not 50%. Amplitude divided by under root two mean 0.707a, mean the displacement here for this equality is 71% of amplitude. So we will 
calculate the 71% of 12, which is approximately 8.4. So we will mark 8.4. So this is eight, this is 8.4. So this is 10, um, this is nine, this is 8.4, so this is the point. This is the point. And similarly, you can use this point. It's up to you, just one. Now, I explain this. Kinetic energy, this is not the requirement of this part. Kinetic energy is equal to potential energy. Kinetic energy formula is one by two M omega square x naught square minus x square and the potential energy one by two m x square omega square where x naught is the amplitude and x is the displacement where the energy is required one by two cancelled m cancelled omega square cancelled so it is x naught square minus x square is equal to just x square so x naught square when this comes here it becomes two x square so we can write 2x square is equal to this x naught is amplitude, amplitude square. Now, x square, amplitude square divided by 2, so x is equal to amplitude square over 2 under root. So x is equal to amplitude divided by under root 2. So this is the displacement where the kinetic energy and potential energy in simple harmonic motion are equal.